Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man giving you the truth. Normally, I just you do Sunday sermons on Sunday, but we catching up uh, because of the strike that I got on the video that I said some things about that virus and the vax that Sneeko, I guess Sneeko is not, uh, I guess he's better than me that he can say it and I can't and his videos are still up unless he's uh, Agent Sneeko. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's an agent. Which goes in line kind of with what I want to talk about on this particular broadcast. How to deal and dealing with toxic people, toxic workplaces, toxic uh, environments, so on and so forth. We're talking about the toxic. So the world system, the matrix says, just keep it. Just keep the job. Just keep the wife. Keep the... Uh, the car just keep breaking down uh keep 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 tox toxic stuff ununified stuff people that's not with you people who working against you people who don't like you just keep dealing with them stay by them stay at their job stay in a marriage with them forget about finding something better just stay 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 Beware of people who, that's their philosophy. Beware of them because they'll stay with you and they'll, they'll not even like you. I mean, that's just, you, you got to be willing to let go. And sometimes when you let go, sometimes you, go, you might go through some things for a little while. But what needs to be let go needs to be let go. Like, it just don't make sense. Life is too short. Like, we, we, nothing is going on war wise this kind of a little peace why would we spend these type of days dealing with indifferent people dealing with people who have grudges uh there's so many people got so many grudges that it's hard to even know just what's eating them just what's really even bothering them you know i mean we don't don't even try to figure it out man just you're going to leave, you're going to stay. What you going to do? You're going to stay? Okay, then let's, we don't need to keep hearing about it then. If you choose to stay with somebody, we don't, keep the, we don't need to keep hearing about it then. We don't. Like, if you choose to stay on your job and your job is horrible, your boss is, 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 being, is targeting you, uh, then we don't need to keep hearing about your job then. If you're going to stay there, then just find a way to stay there. And in some cases, that's the best way. But in a lot of cases, it's not. It's just people not believing in themselves, not believing in their ability to create and dominate, not believing that there's something better or someone better for you out there. I mean, you got guys that their marriage is just it's just not even a marriage like when you're not having sex that's not a marriage because marriage is what sex is what makes a marriage like that's one of the things that make a marriage and if you're not doing that or you married to a guy that you and you're doing that to someone else or you married to a guy and you like someone else like, I mean, that's you, you, you being toxic. See, what it really is sometimes is the person themselves is toxic. They like a little mess in their life. If you're not a messy person, you're going to have a hard time in 2022. You're going to be on the job, off the job, on this relationship, off this relationship. If you're not, if you're not uh, a person that's willing to let go, you might as well stop talking about it because sometimes you have to if you're not willing to then why why are you letting it get to i'll be saying people i'd be watching people like let's say i do like a gig i ain't gonna say no names but let's say i'm doing a gig let's say i'm in the grocery store 
They stand around fussing about their bosses, but they've been there 20 years. They not getting richer and they still there. Like I conclude that that person is a little messy themselves. That's a person that's a little messy themselves. You talk about the crime in your neighborhood, but you still there. You ain't left yet. Stop talking about it. You must like it. You like it, I love it. Oh, I, I ain't selling my house. Then stop talking about the crime then. You know what's going on over there. Why are you still talking about it? Maybe. Just maybe. You're a little messy yourself. Maybe, just maybe. You are the alpha type. You masculine. You a boss type. No matter what, you ain't got to say a word. The spirit you're going to give off is going to create a lot of problems. Because people are used to men bowing down. You bow down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, oh, damn. Bowing down to women. Bowing down to bosses. First of all, let me be clear. Nobody can replace the most high. Nobody. Like, I mean, I'm not going to sit up here and say he's just perfect in his dealings with me. Because a lot of time, the Most High don't even be getting along with his prophets after time. But no person is going to be God. Now, you want to put me through something? Go for it. Take your best shot. Because I'm going to bounce back. And I don't care what none of these people think. Because... You got, you got a lot of them that only got what they got because they always play it safe like a coward. And if you always playing it safe, then you're not being creative. Then you got the Cook, the C-U-C-K, Cook Lloyd Husbands. The happy wife, happy life guys. Cook Lloyd, your wife be getting, you swinging. Now why are you married? Why are you married if that's what you're going to do? You giving you letting other dudes have your wife. Wow. Wow, you're such a man for that. So a lot of these dudes are just cucks. They follow them behind women. And you got a lot of them on YouTube trying to argue against the manosphere, but they cucks. I rather get evicted with a lease in my name then live with a woman. I'll never live in a woman's house. I'll live in my car before I do that. I'll live in a park before I do that. Me knowing what I know about women, I would never live in a house. Never. I just wouldn't. I mean, that's, that's just how I am. That's just how I deal with toxic and with potential toxic situations. Like, if it can't be fixed, I believe in just getting rid of it. I don't believe in dealing with people in places every single day that can't be fixed or won't be fixed. I just don't believe in it. What are you getting out of it? You just wasting your life away. You ain't getting nothing out of that. You wasting your life away. So... And then, did what people don't realize too. The job market right now is the best it's ever been in Milwaukee. I don't know about where you are at, but you can get a job easy here right now. Whether it's a grocery store, whether it's a factory, whether it's uh, corrections, whether it's police, regardless of the category. In Milwaukee, you can get a good job. Now, the question becomes not getting the job, but how will you deal with the people on the job? That's what that's the question. So, you know, you say, well, I ain't going to deal with them. I'm just going to go to work and go home. That ain't going to work, buddy. And most jobs, that's not going to work. This is 2022. They want you to accept everything and everybody. So either you defer and you throw the white flag or you got to find a way to work for yourself. 
but you gonna deal with toxic people. Me personally, I rather deal with toxic customers. Because with customers, if they toxic, then you could try to please them. And if you can't, you just, oh well, one loss. With coworkers, whether you can please them or not, you're going to see them every day, every single day. That's why you had the great resignation of 4 million people quitting their job. Now, you telling me that large number is all they fought is them? Uh, they couldn't take nothing, they being too emotional. No, no, some jobs you just have to quit and people know that, people know that. Because a lot of them jobs that you choose not to quit, they're gonna find the right way to get rid of you anyway. Just like relationships. You try now, you trying to stay with a woman who don't like you, who don't respect you, whether it be because y'all got kids or this or that, you still down the line gonna end up separate. Either you gonna get sick and die from the toxic relationship or she gonna end up just overstepping completely. Cause see, here's what happens. Here's what happens with women. You give women too much leeway, they're going to act out based on what you, what guidelines you set. Regardless if they punking you or you in charge or what, they gonna act upon those guidelines and then if they, what, I always remember this, and somebody I just saw, somebody just made a video about this, I didn't watch it yet. He said, all of them are sleeping with someone. Whether it's they hand thinking about a guy or an actual guy, when they stop having sex with you, they're not gonna stop having sex. They might, for a while, they might do it themselves looking at stuff, thinking about stuff, thinking about people, but they're not gonna stop. They're not. So when they do that, just understand, you can try to stay with her all you want. Eventually she's gonna move on. And the only reason why she's probably there is because she didn't find something better yet. If she finds something better, she's gonna become Meryl Streep. If she's black, she's gonna be a black Meryl Streep. Boy, she gonna be an A-list actress, boy. <laughs> well, I didn't want to do it, but I didn't want to do it. No, you a 304. You a hoe. You a hoe. You wanted to. You wanted to. You wanted fresh me. That's all it is. Don't try to think of no reason. Oh well, he was. He wasn't doing this. He wasn't. Listen, if he wasn't doing this, then you know what? You could have did it yourself. That's the excuse too. Well, he wasn't doing this, he wasn't doing Okay, well, how about this? How about you leave, right? And this girl tried to hop on my heels in the comment. How about you leave and take care of yourself 100%. Let him, if you got kids with him, let him take care of his kids directly. You know what? They're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do that because they're too toxic to do that. They wanna take you down. They wanna take you out for not pedestalizing them, not giving them their way, not putting up with everything they do. They have an affair, you leave them alone, they're gonna try to make you pay. I've seen it. I've seen it with old coworkers, old friends. They wives cheated on them and then still tried to take them for everything. And there's people on YouTube that that happened to them too. They wife cheated on them first, had to, and this is how you know. Anytime she mysteriously, this dude that she already knew, now he's the boyfriend, she was already dealing with him. Almost 99% of the time, she was already dealing with him. One particular YouTuber, that's what happened. I heard this story. All of a sudden, she got a boyfriend. It don't work out. And now she's trying to come after him for money. That is evil as hell. That's evil, and people wonder why they be getting sick and stuff. You need to look in the mirror. That's evil, man. So, when you just understand, when you try to stay with indifference, 
Um, let's go down the, the keys. In different people, in different workplaces, in different bosses. Unforgiving workplaces, unforgiving people, unforgiving bosses. Indifference, unforgiveness. Anytime you deal with these, get ready. Get ready. I mean, you it's not going to get better, man. How many times have you seen a person go from being disrespectful to respectful without getting their way uh, in the situation? Never. It don't happen. It don't happen. They disrespectful because they don't like you, man. Accept it and move on. You picked the wrong one. You didn't pick one that was with you to the end. You picked one that was with you temporarily. And if we honest, some of our girlfriends was more respectful than our wives, and we did more for our wives. We cheated on girlfriends, did this, did that. They still showed you more respect than your wives. Because doing stuff for people, that don't mean nothing no more. That don't mean nothing. When people attach themselves to their feelings instead of the truth, the reality, the facts, it's going to create toxicity, toxic relationships, toxic workplace, toxic whatever. This is why you have salesmen that will sell you a car that they know the car is going to break down. They toxic. They don't care. They toxic. They don't care. They have no principle. They have no integrity. They know something wrong with that car. They sold it to you anyway. You got mechanics that have fixing your car. You take your car and put an oil chain, they don't even put oil in it. You know why they do that? Because they evil. They toxic. Now, you think they're going to start doing it because you hop on them? No. They liable to do it even worse next time. But a lot of people, they don't be willing to find out if there's anything better. If there's a better wife, if there's a better mechanic, if there's a better job. Because they're too fearful and they don't believe in themselves to move on. I believe in myself. I believe that I'm going to be one of the people that's going to rebuild the manosphere. If YouTube is fair. Because YouTube be censoring the hell out of my content. I'm not stupid. I know they're hiding some of my videos. I don't know what I did. You see what I'm talking about? YouTube is getting too toxic. So eventually, I'm going I'm to have to make a choice with that. Why would I keep making videos that all they're going to do is hide it, block it, or strike? Hide, block, strike. Because they don't like me. And the FBI, anybody, any free thinkers, they don't like. Biden say uh, kid liking comments all the time. But Trump is the one they're after. Because Trump, for the most part, is free thinking. They can't control him. So they don't like him. They want to throw him in jail. The FBI needs to focus on crime. If you keep focusing on trying to stop people from organizing and leaders rising, the crime is just going to get worse and worse. That's not your job. That's not even a central intelligence agency. You supposed to be watching potential T wrist. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You supposed to be watching that kind of stuff, not creating it. You supposed to be making sure it don't happen. But what do they do? They want to put their agents and make their agents millionaire, millionaire YouTuber. They want millionaire YouTubers. This this link to them. This is what we gonna do. We need as smaller YouTubers to subscribe to each other, super chat each other, help each other get to a thousand subs. The ones that's at a thousand subs, we need to work together as a team. Because all you're doing is, look how Melanie King did the Asian guy. 
That's y'all creating that. Because y'all need to get out of the matrix and you need to stop judging people by our appearance. The Bible taught you that, didn't it? That's one reason why I, I intentionally come on here sometimes looking scraggly. And sometimes I'm not because I can I can do that. I can be just as clean as I want to be. You're not going to, I'm the same person, whether I'm clean cut with the finest of clothes on or whether I got a, a dusty coat on, dusty shirt. I'm the same person. That's what y'all got to understand. You're the same person. Be who you are within being positive, being righteous, being showing integrity, showing dignity. Be within those ranks. Whatever you are in that stuff, be that. And sometimes you just got to leave people alone, man. Everybody ain't for you. Okay, you had, you had kids with her. She doesn't like you, man. You can't stay with her. You can't sleep in the same bed as her. Get Realize that. She doesn't like you. She probably never did. Why are you trying to stay in toxic relationships? When a girl is rebounding, she might, you never know how far she gonna go. Never date women who are in love with somebody that they're not with. Never. That's a vetting question. That's one of the most important questions. And then sometimes when you vet, you gotta learn how to just sit back and watch. Don't always say nothing. Just watch a person. Watch them. Listen closely to them. Collect their words. What do they say consistently? That's how they feel. Whatever they say consistently, that's how they feel. If you always battle, everything is a battle. Every time you bring something up, nah, -uh, it should be like this. It's because they think they're smarter than you. Where are you going to get with that? James 4 and 1, you need to read it. 4 and 1 through 4. You ain't getting nowhere with that situation. No, 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 I think we should do this. Everything you come up with. As a man, you listening to her, she's supposed to be following you. She, uh-uh, let's do it. No. no, no, dude, that's not. Let me tell you something about marriage. With the man... Marriage is up here. That piece of paper don't mean nothing. Once it's over in here, you better make sure it's over in real life. Because you know what the most high going to be looking at? He going to be looking at in here. And he going to be looking at up here. So you got to make sure that whatever your choices you make as a man, that's your that's your creation. That's your creation. That's why it says, as a man, it don't say woman. As a man thinketh, so is he. If you believe you gonna be a successful entrepreneur, those women, they could be like, nah, I don't believe. They don't, they don't have to believe. You see, we make this mistake and we allow others to dictate our outcomes. That's not how the most high created men. So you don't have to stay on a job. You have to figure out what it is you're going to create. What is it that you're going to create? You don't have to stay with a certain woman. Do you know how many women are in the world? Why would you stay with a woman who doesn't like you? That And it's not always had nothing to do with you. It's her. Oh, you ain't laying the pipe right. Sometimes they don't even let you lay the pipe. Then you get to the next one, and you laying pipe like crazy. They say, oh, man, he wasn't laying pipe. She looking at your wife like, yeah, okay. Oh, he wasn't laying pipe right. But then you, he must, something must have happened. She'd be like, something must have happened. He laying pipe with me. Oh, he gay. Oh, really?
Really? Really? That's what your new woman be saying. Like, oh, really? That's why they always end up getting into it. Because it'd be like a contradicting force between your ex and the current. And if it's not a contradicting force, you need to put her right over there with your ex and make her an ex too. And these preachers is telling you to stay in these toxic marriages. Stop going to their church, man. It's your way or the highway. If she don't want to follow you, you you not going your prayers are gonna be hindered. Read 1 Peter chapter 3. You will, you will get more prayers in by yourself than dealing with her. Y'all prayers is going to be hindered. It don't make sense. But anyway, let me wrap this up in the next couple minutes. So, you have to know this is why you don't have time to kick it all the time. You need to be researching stuff. You need to be reading. You need to be uh, uh, checking on stuff. You don't have time to hang out all the time. If you hanging out a lot, like hours, you you going to everybody's gathering. And people who go to all them family gathering, all that stuff, it really going you really going to take a hit when it comes to your insight because you need to be learning to be insightful you need to be praying letting the most high show you things if you always around them family members boy yo hell you don't got fat or you you not only are being diminished and emasculated by them indifferent toxic relatives Boy, y'all see him, man. I never knew his teeth was so crooked. Y'all see how much gray hair he got now? Negative, 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 negative. Why? Why? Like, why are you spending time with them? I'm telling you, going forward, if I sense you got a problem with me, if I sense you got a problem with me, I'm, I'm going to give everybody, I give everybody a chance. But when I sense that somebody has a problem with me, I'm not wasting no time with them. Because I'm not going to accomplish anything. You will accomplish more with people who believe in you, believe in what you're trying to do, or had that willingness to learn and listen. You ain't going to, I could have been had a church a long time ago. I want my church to be full of people that's helping me, and I'm going to help them because they help me. I don't want to, well, I think we should do this. Okay. Let's hear where you're playing. Blah, 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 blah. How is that any better? See, this is what people do. Because they're more educated than you sometimes, they think that everything they come up with is better than what you came up with. Although they usually can't prove it. You got to find people that you can harmonize with you can unite with you know you can't pedal a boat like let's say with me and you in a canoe I done did canoe and I was good at it still is the only way you gonna move that boat right is if y'all in harmony y'all in sync with the pedal I've raced in canoes I know what I'm talking about if you pedaling this way and the other person is pedaling a whole different way the canoe either going to go sideways like this or it's, it's not going to move. You got to be in harmony with the current. Just like if you play a piano. It's, you got a chord, you got this chord. Every chord on the piano, is a, it has an opposite chord. Just like discord. You need to find your discord. And get rid of that. And play those accords. That's why they call it the accordion. Because all the keys. Play in the same rhythm. See. Yeah. 
You got you got agents infiltrate, 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 infiltrate. Agents are ops. Infiltrate. You, the only way we're going to overcome all of these agents in this infiltration is to build an alliance. The manosphere. Stop letting all these women in. Why, why, why are we listening to them? We men. See, y'all need to stop taking all the world's philosophies and stick to the book. Stick to the scripture. Base everything off of that unless you can find something better. We basing it off that. People don't want to do that though. That's why there's so much discord everywhere. Well, I don't like tall people. So every time they see a tall person, I don't like tall people. Now this person is a supervisor at a job. You get hired. You you six three. Now they looking at you like, nah, don't do it like that. Do it like, just pick 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 target target target. Why? Because they don't like tall people. That's what go on on jobs. Oh, I don't like dark skinned people. Here you come. Human resources done hired you. You dark skinned. Pick 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 pick. Well, I don't like I don't like guys to say they part of the manosphere. She heard you talking. You said you in the manosphere. Pick, 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 pick. You have to eliminate that by being by yourself and enjoying it. Or being with people who are with you. Uh, uh, we got kids. We got kids. We got she want to get smashed. Either she got smashed or she want to get smashed. You, you got to make sure those kids is yours. Ah, uh, she wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, a lot of them will. I know people right here, right now in Milwaukee. Those kids might not be theirs. I'm getting worked up, man. I'm finna end this broadcast. Like, you have to know when, where, and how to deal with toxic places, toxic people, toxic thing. Me, I can't stand no thief, man. Like a thief, especially when he think he tough. That just it's irking. I, that's why I, I try to stay away from him. I try. I don't like dudes that start stuff for no reason. So if I know where they are, why would I go there? Ah, man, I don't care what they talking about. I'm going to that store. And then you get shot. Or you get in a fight. You done got jumped. Or you done shot somebody. And now you down at court with the liberal judge who, who's not seeing your side because he know you voted for Trump. I just, I'm trying to put my hand on it. I believe you didn't really have to do it that way. Don't put yourself in these situations. Know when, where, how, and what to let go of. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp, and All Subjects channel. No Matrix, man. No Matrix. We ain't, man, listen. We ain't, we ain't in the Matrix. At least I ain't. No simping. Ain't no simping. I don't care how good you look. I don't care how voluptuous you are. I don't care if you got all the traits that I like it in a woman. There ain't gonna be no simping. I don't need you. I'll never need you. Now, if you make yourself useful, I want you. But y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta learn how to distinguish between want and need. 
If women are in need, you're a simp. No matter what, and y'all do is listen, man. Listen, man. Y'all can take up for them till the, till the cows come home. That ain't gonna change that fact. What I just said is a fact. If you need women, you're a simp. Thanks for watching.